today let's look at a series parallel circuit. So let's go ahead and identify each component whether it's series or parallel. Here we have the power coming in from the positive of the source through the jumper through R1. Now notice that there's no choice here so R1 is in series. And when we get to here power goes through R2 and R3 through this jumper. Since there's a choice for current to flow through that means that R2 and R3 are in parallel. So there's our series and our parallel component. Now it returns back to the power bar through the negative lead back to the source and we have our series parallel circuit. Let's go ahead and measure our resistances. So what we're going to do is measure our total first. R1 is 6.8K, R2 is 1K, and R3 is 3.3K. So what I'm going to do is take my source out of the circuit, and I'm going to set my meter to 400K. I'm going to clip it on the top of R1 and then I'm going to go ahead and pull out my lead for my negative and clip my negative to it and I get 7.4k so I'm going to go ahead and turn my meter down and my R total for this circuit is 7.5k ohms so I'll go ahead and put my wire back in and let's go ahead and measure our individual resistors here's R1 Pull one terminal out. Go ahead and clip my clip lead to it. And R1 is 6.73. And again, it was supposed to be 6.8K. Put that back in the circuit. Pull out the bottom of R2. Clip my positive to the top, my negative to the bottom. And I get 0.98K, so I'll go ahead and turn my meter down. And R2 is 992 ohms. Put R2 back into the circuit. And go ahead and measure R3. And R3 ends up being 3.29K, and it was supposed to be 3.3K. So all the resistors in the circuit are within tolerance. Now it's time to go ahead and take our voltage readings. I've already preset my power supply to 5 volts. So I'm going to go ahead and turn my meter to 40 volts. And the first thing I want to do is measure my source voltage. So I'm going to clip my negative lead to the negative of the source and my positive lead from the positive of the source. And I do get 5.02 volts. So let me go ahead and put this back into the circuit. And let's measure the voltage across R1. Again, make sure your positive lead is closest to the positive uh, voltage coming in. So I'm going to clip my meter to both sides of the resistor and I get 4.51 volts through or across R1. Let's measure R2. Put my positive on the top, my negative on the bottom and I get 0.51 volts. So I could go ahead and turn my meter down and I do get 0.511 volts. So I'll go ahead and step my meter back up because I don't know what the voltage across R3 is. Put my positive on the top, my negative on the bottom, and I get 0.51 volts. So I'll go ahead and turn it down and I get 5.11 volts. They should be the same, R2 and R3, because they are in parallel and voltage remains the same in a parallel circuit. So 0.5 volts and 4.5 volts gives us our source voltage. Let's finish this circuit up with our current measurements. So I'm going to go ahead, set my meter to 400 milliamps. My power supply is already set. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the I total of the circuit. 
So I'm going to go ahead and break the circuit and my power supply. Connect my positive lead there. And I'm going to go ahead and connect my negative up to the top of R1. Because R1 is connected in series with my voltage source. And I get 0.6 milliamps, so I'll turn it down to 40. Turn it down to 4,000 microamps on my meter. And I see that the current total for this circuit is 663 microamps. So I'm going to go ahead and remove my meter and measure on the other side of R1. Now again, since this is the series part of the circuit, I should be reading the same current. So I'll put my positive on the other side of R1 and my negative on the top of R2 because the top of R2 and R3 are connected together and I do get 663 microamps. Put our one back into the circuit and now we're going to measure R2. Now with R2 we're going to have to put in another jumper where we make the break. So let's go ahead and remove R2 and put our jumper in. So there's my jumper, my positive on the bottom of R2, and my negative on the jumper, and I'm reading 500 microamps through R2. Let's put R2 back on the circuit and remove the jumper, and measure the current for R3. So I'll remove bottom lead of R3, put my jumper in, connect my positive up to the bottom of R3 and my negative up to the jumper and I get 151 microamps through R3. Now if we add the two currents together we will get the current source. And that is how we measure current in a series parallel circuit.